Welcome on into Wagered on Tilt. I am T, and today I wanted to go through the way that you can actually get IDs for your web scraper. So a lot of people have been asking me questions, how do you quickly get the IDs that you need to look this information up? And primarily this is for websites like Baseball Reference, Football Reference, Basketball Reference, and things like that, where in the URL they're using an ID. So this is a quick walkthrough on how to fetch that information rapidly and then change out some of the data within Microsoft Excel, and then that way you have a nice clean CSV file to use to go pull all of those IDs and run the scraper that we've developed previously. Okay, so with football season coming up, what I wanted to walk through is how you can collect IDs of football players within websites quickly. Now in here, um, right now, I need to collect some stats for the quarterbacks within the NFL. So I need to be able to go ahead and collect seasonal data for these players. In other videos, we've already walked through on how to run a Python script that will go ahead and fetch that info based on the player ID. So right now though, I don't have any of these player IDs. So I wanted to walk through quickly how you can do this. So right here, what I have is going to be a script for Python. Now in here, this is something that we've already kind of gone through on how to do these requests where you set this up as um, you know import requests from and then you have beautiful soup you set the URL and this is the URL for the player information um, that I want where it's passing and it's the advanced I'm gonna print the URL just to make sure that it's working correctly then I'm gonna set it to r equals request dot get URL and again nothing uh, about this is different than what we've done in the past for scraping then we're gonna go ahead and set up beautiful soup now I have two of these here because I'm parsing it in two different ways, but I've coded out uh, everything else. So the one that you wanna pay attention to is here. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one. So you're gonna say soup or soup2, however you wanna write it, equals beautiful soup, parenthesis, r.content, comma, quote, html.parser, close quote. So you have this here. So this one's gonna go ahead and set up as soup2. Then we're gonna say player table equals soup2.find and we're gonna look for a table and then in there we're gonna grab the ID of that table. So if you go ahead and inspect the screen um, and go ahead and hover over a player and then look up through the HTML, you'll find the table name. So in this one, the table name is gonna be advanced air yards. Then all I need to do is print that table. Now when I print the table, it's gonna give us a big thing of HTML like this. So there's HTML all over there and that's the entire table. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the entire thing from the printout and copy it and then we're gonna paste it into Microsoft Excel. So here I've gone ahead and pasted in all of the information uh, that came back. So now what we want to do is go ahead and hit Alt F11 that will go ahead and open up our editor. All right, so now that we're in the VBA editor, you're gonna just write a simple function that is this, and it's really short. So you're gonna write public function, and then get URL, parenthesis C as range, close parenthesis as string. So that's the top piece. You can add this piece, it's not required though. It's on error, resume next. So if the copy and paste broke, it's not gonna make your thing panic. Then you'll say get URL equals C dot hyperlinks parenthesis one close parenthesis dot address. And then you end the function. That's all it is that you're gonna do. It creates the function for you. Um, so now that that exists, we're gonna actually be able to call this within the Microsoft Excel uh, sheet itself. So let's go ahead and do that here. Now that we've written our get URL, I'm just gonna go ahead and collapse this so we can see it on a clean screen. So we're just gonna go ahead and hide this. Now, if I type in equals get URL, it's gonna start showing that function we created within the VBA. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I select it. And then I'm just gonna choose the cell that contains the URL I wanna fetch, which will be Patrick Mahomes. And I'll go ahead and close that out. Great. So now I can actually see the URL here, and inside of here is going to be the actual ID that I'm gonna need. Now, previously when we were going ahead and using scrapers, we were stopping the initial URL 
on players slash. So what we need to carve out is M slash and then M-A-H-O P-A-0-0. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and write one more formula and that will go ahead and strip out the information. So in order to get this information out, what we need to do is write a formula that will grab out the mid content. So I'll just go ahead and paste this one in here. So what we're gonna say is mid, and then we're gonna select R4, which has our URL exposed. Then I'm gonna say find, because the way the mid works is first you need what text are you looking at, you need a starting number, and then you need how many characters you want to go. So we're going to say, we're going to look at the URL and in there, my starting number is going to be where we find, and then we'll put in quotes, players slash close quote within R4. So you pass in what text you're looking for and within which. So it's going to return back a number here. And that number is going to be where it finds players slash. Now, after that, we're gonna go ahead and add eight additional characters. The eight additional characters are to account for this string. So that way it'll go ahead and let us start at the correct location. And for right now, I'm just gonna say, make it 100 characters long. So when we hit enter, now what we see here is that the ID and the sub ID are there, but we still have the .htm. So that is it. It's really not that complicated. Building the web scraper in Python is far more complicated than just doing this. All you're doing is building a function, calling that function within Microsoft Excel, pulling out the ID, and your CSV file is ready to go for you to scrape. Now again, this is a great way to quickly pull this information out, and it's very reliable. As always, when building a web scraper, please put in a sleep timer. Do not DDoS these sites that are giving this data to us for free. It is not cool to do that, to hammer their servers, and they could potentially ban you as well. So there's multiple reasons you don't wanna do this. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns about this, please drop a comment on the video. I will go ahead and respond as quickly as I can. If you did find this useful and helpful, please go ahead, give it a thumbs up, and feel free to subscribe if you wanna get notified as soon as the next video is available. If there's anything you'd specifically like to see or learn or something that I can improve upon or even advance further, please let me know. I love to teach. So if there's something that you're personally interested in, I'd love to try and figure out a way to help clarify it via content on YouTube. So just let me know and I'll go ahead and get that spun up. So that is it for me today. So until next time, happy wagering.